Hello one and all, it's me Marie and welcome back to another speed build. Today we are back in San Machino in the 910 Medina Studios apartment doing just a little renovation um, and I kind of wanted to go for a spooky paranormal theme for this apartment. Um, so as you can see we just really quickly moved along past the floor plan. It's a very open concept, but with a, just a little bit of um, kind of dividing the room up a little bit do, um, because of the different platforms that I used. Um, because this apartment is on platforms, I had to save each individual room to the gallery, um, but you can go ahead and place them in your game individually. Um, they'll fit just the same. Make sure that you have BB.move objects on though, um, as I had to place certain items using the Alt button. And uh, when you place all these rooms, the grand total that it comes to is 40,236 simoleons. And it is one bedroom, one bathroom. It is a double bed, um, which I have a um, creepy doll sitting on one side of the bed. Um, so technically you could have two sims, but I think you'll maybe have to move the doll out of the way. Um, but as you can see, we're, I had a interesting time trying to figure out, I knew that I wanted to kind of go for some darker wood tones just because I feel like um, the darker tones make it look more creepy and uh, that's the aesthetic that I really wanted to go for and I still wanted to use the paranormal wallpaper. Um, I love it, it's the divinity leaf one and it is beautiful, it comes in so many really cute swatches. Um, I've never used this kind of uh, mahogany color um, with the gold on it and I thought that it kind of went well because as you'll see later we use the golden chandeliers from the paranormal pack and the it ended up being the same color as the TLC pipes over there. Um, I'm not quite sure if since this is a TLC apartment, if your sims will be able to get to those items to kind of take care of them. I do know that the rats will come out of the cabinets in the kitchen here because um, I place the counter with the sink on it right in front of the mouse hole in the wall. Um, and I just decided to kind of also use dark wood in the counters and cabinets as well. So as you can see, I'm just kind of, I had a hard time deciding if I wanted to use that tall cabinet piece, um, but unfortunately I could not get it to all be the same height um, as the cabinets on the other side. And I thought at first that I wasn't going to have a corner, uh, a corner cabinet on top, but then I just thought the open space by the window looks odd. Um, I'm not really a big fan of placing count, uh, cabinets over windows, but it was the only solution that I could really come up with for this, so please forgive me if that is one of your uh, pet peeves when it comes to building in The Sims. Honestly, I don't really know why that window is there to begin with because if you look at it from the hallway The wall divides that window in half and that's the only reason why that window appears Inside the actual apartment like they should have just cut the window off where it was supposed to be um, anyways, so I just finished up the kitchen. We'll go back and add a little bit of clutter on the counters. Um, but this is by no means pack restricted. Um, I did know that I wanted to use this beautiful, beautiful fireplace. So I, al I also put it on a um, 
platform to kind of raise it up a little bit and place a TV above it. Um, so if you do download this house, that's another thing. I didn't save the fireplace as its own room, but obviously y'all can look back at the video and see where I've placed it and you can do the same. It's pretty easy. You just put plate, you just place the fireplace down where you want it and then you just build walls around it raise the platform and delete the walls and add your trim which this is like the only trim that i could get to match this paranormal wooden flooring um but i thought that it matched really really well and as i was moving on to the bedroom here i knew that i wanted to use uh the city living bed that i have placed but i had a hard time kind of choosing a swatch for it because i wanted to stick to the dark wood frame since it matches the rest of the dark wood in the apartment here. Um, so we end up sticking with this red and yellow swatch. I felt like the yellow kind of tied into the wallpaper and I was going to use... I saw some uh, other simmer. I forget which it was. Um, they mixed... They mixed the uh, Realm of Magic furniture with the Paranormal, and I thought that it looked really, really beautiful. And uh, I was going to do that, but then I decided that that dresser actually looked better. Um, and it was a little bit taller, and I just thought that it kind of matched the aesthetic a little bit better. Um, kind of going for a more run-down theme. Not really like disgusting and gross but just kind of worn and maybe they brought in furniture of their own that's a little bit nicer um but they're as you can see we're placing a lot of cobwebs and there's cracks in the walls in the tile mostly and like scratches and i just kind of wanted to make a more detailed build um of course it could be looking a lot better without those objects so if you don't want it to necessarily look uh worn if you will then you can just probably delete those um i also thought maybe a makeshift sink in the bathroom would make it even more kind of like they're trying to renovate it a little bit um and actually the sink came in with a really good swatch that matched the rest of the dark woods in the build and uh yeah i rarely use that sink but i just thought you know i kind of wanted it to be kind of worn and of course i had to place the seance table and for once i used the orange swatch on the little crystal ball um i felt like it tied in with the golds a little bit better um, and I love this rug. Pretty much you're going to see that I'm in the paranormal show all objects um, for a little bit. And I had placed that ceiling fan, but then I thought, no, I'm going to use these chandeliers instead. So there is double lighting just because I don't like... I feel like the little mini puck lights give so much more light, especially to a build this dark. Um, so it's not like overwhelmingly dark uh, compared to these little chandeliers that you saw me place and I'm placing now. Um, just because they don't give off as much light and uh, it's more of a warmer light tone that they give off. And of course we had to add some plants and clutter up the fireplace. Um, I had a lot of fun doing this build. I had been planning it for a while. Um, I know I'm a little bit behind um, on the whole paranormal builds, but it, it was really fun just to kind of revisit it and use all the furniture and it just looks so good together and I was really pleasantly surprised on how well a lot of the wood tones matched and I don't know, I just, I really love, 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 love this pack. It is definitely one that I would recommend to somebody who is looking for a new stuff pack because maybe they don't have them all. Um, I definitely would recommend this one. It, the furniture is in it, beautif 
the furniture that is in it is beautiful. Pardon me. Um, and the gameplay that goes with it is just really refreshing. Brings a little bit of spooky and eeriness to gameplay. Um, and then, of course, I had to add in some of these creepy dolls. Um, so here's that one that I placed on the bed. Um, if you do have two sims in this build, I'm not sure if it will let your second sim sleep on that side or not. Um, uh, I'm not sure. But anyways, uh, the mailboxes are in the hallway and there is a trash bin in here as well as the uh, trash chute in the hallway. So everything is super functional and should work just fine. And I would love to see y'all playing in this apartment if you do download it and place it all together. I would love to see and feel free to tag me. All my socials are below. Um, most of them are Marie Mooney, and then my Instagram is at Marie Mooney Gaming. Um, I am very active on there. We just hit over 300 followers the other day. Uh, of course, this is this is Wednesday, uh, and this video will be going up on Saturday. Um, I'm just voicing it in today's Wednesday, so I'm sure we'll have even more followers by then. Um, so you can go on over and join in on the fun. Please feel free to leave comments and any suggestions on speed, build, speed builds that y'all would like to see. Um, as well as you can always DM me on my medias and I will try my best to get back to you on what you want to see. Um, it was just really nice doing an apartment speed build again. I know that uh, there's been a lot of house builds on the channel and I just kind of wanted to break it up um plus I just feel like apartments are pretty easy and a lot of people like to play in them I know I do um it's just a lot easier to kind of control and see everything and so yeah um and as you can see we're just fin finishing up some cluttering here Apparently I can't talk very well today. Um, and of course I had to add this basket. Um, I really, really hope y'all enjoyed this speed build. And if y'all did, please feel free to download it off the gallery. My origin ID is Marie Mooney. And uh, I will see you all very, very soon. Toodles!